Uh, hi, I'm Willie Obi. And when we went to the Cleveland Museum of Art, I decided to do my painting on the Nativity by Gerard, Gerard David. Uh, the reason I chose this painting is because I'm, I'm a Christian, and I've, like, I've always grown up knowing what the, like, the Nativity scene, I know the story. And when I saw this picture, like, I was kind of like, confused because it's not like something that I normally see. It's like something completely different, completely new. Um, but first, I'll talk a little about the artist. Gerard David was a Flemish painter. He was born in 1460 in Oudwater, Netherlands. He became the dean of the Berg, 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 Burgess, Burgess School in 1501. And he's most famous for his altarpieces. And but like you can see here, like well, like in the middle, there's an altarpiece, but there's also two paintings on the side. And the one all the way on the left is the Judgment of Canvases. And the altarpiece is the Baptist of Christ, and the last picture is the Virgin and Child with the Saints and Donors. Uh, here's the picture I took of the actual of the actual picture in the museum. It's uh, oil paints on a wood panel. And it's three feet and four, about four inches tall and one foot, or almost two feet wide. Uh, wide. It's a Christian subject matter because it, you can see uh, at the very bottom, underneath the man in red, you can see uh, the baby Jesus. And uh, it has a realistic color scheme. Like the people, like you, like you look at these people and you're like, like they seem real, like they're wearing real clothes at the time. And there's also a lot of depth to this scene. There's three different levels, which I'll explain in a little bit. And uh, it's, uh, the paint strokes are very smooth. You can't really, if you were to zoom in on it, you can't really tell. Like, you can't really see hard paint strokes like you can in some other different paintings. Um, okay, what I'll do first. Uh, as you can see in the picture, it has three different levels. In the foreground, it has a uh, picture you can see the animals and uh, Virgin Mary and Shepherd and baby Jesus down here. Um, I couldn't really find out what these two characters were, but uh, I, I, mean, I want to believe like they're angels. And this just represents the actual birth of Christ and how he's down there. And then in the second level, you can see there's an angel up top, and the angel is yelling down to the shepherd in the pasture of the birth of Christ. And you can also see there's a city in the background, and what this city represents is the city of Jerusalem, and that's put in there because that's where Jesus was crucified. So it's kind of like foreshadowing to the rest of his life. And you can also see in the very background, like the mountains and the hills, it's just depicting like this is not like a flat image that you, like it's like when you're looking at it, it looks real. So you can see like cause you're not going to see something flat. Like you see different stages and different depths in, uh, of art. And uh, what I was talking about earlier is how like when I picture the nativity scene, like I don't picture what Gerard Duffy painted. Uh, so I took a picture of just like a like a basic common nativity scene. Uh, a few of the differences are, in Gerard David's, he painted a daytime scene, but in most of the stories and everything that we know, like we're taught as children, it's a night scene. And one of the things that really puzzled me the most is that in the normal one, he, baby Jesus is in a manger. In this one, baby Jesus is just kind of laying on the ground, like he just like, forgot the manger, like there's a reason he didn't put the manger, I couldn't really find why. And uh, but in both, there are similarities. They both have animals to show that it was uh, in a manger, like in a, like a farm setting. But this one, this picture doesn't have any of the three kings because it's told that when Jesus was born, three kings came bearing gifts. And over here, you can see them over here along with the shepherd that like, those, like owned the place. And so I just thought that was interesting how like, he came through and like, it was a completely new, like, new interpretation of the nativity scene from what we're normally like aware of and what we know. And so I was really interested in that because I mean I like different stories and different reasonings behind things and that was a huge difference that like I didn't really see coming or I didn't really I didn't really know about. Like I just thought everybody thought the same thing, but he wanted to represent it in a new and different style. And uh, here are my references that I used and that's my presentation. <laughs>